Tangem and Cyfrog are two really awesome card sized crypto hardware wallets. But which one is actually the safer one and which one is the best fit for you? Today we'll break down the pros and cons of the Tangem and the Cyfrog wallet so you can make an informed decision. Let's check it out! Hey! I am Melanie and on this channel we already reviewed a bunch of card sized crypto wallets or hardware wallets which use at some point the card sized wallets too. Such as some of my favorite wallets, the Tangem wallet but also the Cyfrog wallet. We also reviewed the big and heavy Grid Plus Lettuce 1 wallet which comes with some safe cards, the decent all in one card but also the cool wallet. Pro. Most of them work with NFC technology, however, for example, the Quill wallet works with some Bluetooth technology. The decent all-in-one card was the cheapest among each of them, but is highly, highly limited when it comes to supported assets and also is not as secure as the Tangem and the Cyfrog wallet. So from all the card-sized crypto wallets, which I have reviewed so far, Tangem and the Cyfrog wallets are definitely, in my opinion, the best options. So in this video, we'll stick with the two of them. And if you decide after watching this video to get either the Tangent or the Cyfrog wallet, feel free to use the links down below in my description to get some discount or just head, for example, to the Tangent site where you can get either the three card sets or the two card sets and enter manually the promo code BONUS to get a 10% off. And there you can already see the prices which comes to the first part of the comparison. And the Tangent wallet you can get with my discount code for $49 or the three card sets for $63. The Cyfrog wallet however is a little more expensive and comes with a price tag of $159 USD. However, if you are entering the promo code MELANIE17 and click on apply, you will get a 17% discount on your purchase and it comes to a total of 132 USD. A cool new feature which Cyfrog is having is that you can personalize your cards with some NFTs or images. So you can simply upload the image of your NFT or whatever in here and you will get your cards personalized. So let's get started with a brief overview of the wallets. The Tangem wallet is the cheaper option as we have already seen and it is one of the most beginner friendly wallets which I have tested so far without compromising the security. And even if you are just starting your crypto journey right now and you're total beginner, Tangem is definitely a wallet you can look into. If you order a Tangem card set, you will either get two cards or a three card sets. Those additional cards work as your backup cards so that even if you lose a card, you still have fully access to your funds. Also, a unique feature which the Tangem wallet is having is that it comes with actually three options to set up your cards. And the first option is to go without any visible seed phrase so that even you don't have 12, 24 words, whatever to write down. And this actually reduces the risk that anyone will find your seed phrase and will access your funds without you knowing it. But as a lot of people has requested to actually see the seed phrase, Tangem implemented in their new Tangem cards two more options to set up your wallet and this is either to generate your own seed phrase or the third option is to import a seed phrase from a previous wallet which you already had set up. Tangem at this point is still recommending to use the no seed phrase option and this actually means that you only have your cards available. If you are losing one card, it's not a big deal because you still have one or two more cards left. However, if you lose all your cards, you won't be able to access your funds anymore. With the seed phrase option, it's different because if you're even losing all the cards, you still have your seed phrase written down somewhere. But actually, it's still the same. If you're losing your seed phrase somewhere, 
you still won't be able to access your funds. At this point, I would love to know which option you would prefer either with or without the seed phrase. And also drop me a comment if you would love to know how you can create your very own seed phrase from the scratch. So not just generating it with your hardware wallet, such as the Tangent, but actually generating offline your really own seed phrase for any wallet which you are having or want to use. And once you added all the details in the Tangent app to do your transaction, you need to confirm it with a tab on your phone. And actually, that's it. So this makes any transaction really easy to confirm. However, don't you worry, even if you lose one of those Tangent cards, even the thief won't be able to access your fund because they will still need either your pin or your fingerprint additionally to your card. The Cyprock wallet also works with NFC technology. However, with Cyprock, you won't need an NFC smartphone. However, with Cyprock, you will need to use one of those cards and tap it on the Cyprock X1 Volt. So, as you can see, with Cyprock, you're not getting just two or three cards as with Tangent, but you're actually getting four cards in total and this small device called X1 Volt. And this is actually one of the biggest security features and a big pro for the Cyprock wallet. As unlike other card-based crypto wallets, we do not sign any transactions by tapping our card on the smartphone, but actually we are tapping the card on the X1 Volt. And the X1 Volt from Cyprock comes with a display as you can see here. And this display is actually showing us all the transaction details offline before we are signing the transactions, if we agree with the details. If we are using, on the other hand, our smartphone directly to confirm a transaction. So with Tangent, we have no way to confirm a transaction offline, but we always have to trust that the details displayed on our smartphone are legit, are correct, and we didn't have any malware or hacker or whatever access our smartphone before. So to lower the risk of having some malicious software on your phone, I usually recommend to use a new smartphone to set up your wallet and to use your wallet. And also in general, I recommend you to have at least two hardware wallets the first one is just to hodl and to send funds, but without any activities with D apps or signing smart contracts or whatever. And the second wallet could be an interactive wallet where you do approach D apps and smart contracts. So one just for hodl, one to connect with other, and one where you can connect with D apps and smart contracts. And don't forget to regularly also go through all the smart contracts, no matter if you're using a hardware wallet or a software wallet, and remove all the approvals which accumulated over the time. If you do use other card size crypto wallets, you additionally have the risk if you don't have a display apart from your smartphone that you are approving some malicious firmware updates without you knowing. However, with Tangem and Cyprock, you won't have the risk because the Tangem cards as well as the Cyprock cards do not have any software updates. And this, it is impossible to actually update any software there. The software there are fixed and both cards from Cyprock and the Tangem are ELA 6 plus verified. However, the Tangem app as well as the Cyprock app are both open source and can be seen on GitHub and also the X1 world on Cyprock is open source. The card chips, however, are not open source and this is due to NDAs with the manufacturer. Before we dig deeper into the comparison, let's have a quick overview of what we discussed so far and what so far are the better options in each category. When it comes to the price, Tangem is starting at already 49 USD while the Cyprock comes with a price tag of 132 USD as of now, including my discount codes. So the point here definitely goes to Tangem. When it comes to the set what you are receiving, you will get with Tangem either two or three cards and with Cyprock four cards and the vault 
and even it comes with an x watt volt which does have the display and where we do the transaction here on this small device not only this but cyprock is also using the shamir secret sharing which also gives it a huge plus when it comes to security but this will be part at a later step in this video when it comes to connectivity, both are using NFC technology. However, Tangem is using the technology with our smartphone to confirm transactions, while Cyfrog is using the NFC technology combined with the X1 Volt, which has increased security. So this point goes to Cyfrog. Both cards come with an ELA 6 Plus verification and are both non-updatable. So here we are even. And even if the chip from those cards are not open source, they are both fully audited from independent security firms. The Tangem wallet is audited by Kudelski Security, which is a Switzerland firm. And also Tangem had no hacks since 2017, since they are on the market. And they already delivered more than 1 million crypto wallets. So I think it's also pretty secure. When it comes to Cyfrog, the X1 Volt has been audited by Keylabs, an auditing firm which also hacked the ledger in the past. And they are even saying that Cyfrog is the safest crypto hardware wallet they ever tested. The cards, however, are audited by another firm, which is called Serma Safety and Security. So when it comes to the verification and audits, I would say they are on the same level. The Tangem wallet comes with an IP68 rating, so it's water and dust resistant. Cyfrog wallet doesn't have an IP rating yet, as I know. The cards are pretty durable though also. However, the wallet itself has some vulnerabilities, of course. But even the cards are pretty durable. You need to take care of your X1 wallet because it definitely has no IP rating. And it's also made of hard plastic. So it's still plastic, but a better plastic and more durable definitely than the Trezor. When it comes to durability, also Tangem offers a 25 year warranty. So whenever you have some issues with your Tangem wallet, you can just send it back to Tangem and Tangem will send you a full new set of Tangem cards free of charge within this 25 years period. This Cyfrog wallet, however, doesn't have such a long warranty. However, they are still stating that the X1 Volt is supporting more than 500,000 tabs. So this X1 Volt does not only come with a display, but also with a small five-way joystick. And also they are stating that the cards, they do can retain our data securely for at least 20 years years when it comes to supported chains and also token then tangem is leading the race however cyfrog is not that bad at all they are still supporting more than 3000 digital assets and both of the companies are adding more and more tokens on a regular basis so even if you are missing out some supported tokens yet reach out to the support and they will both consider adding it and of course the more people ask the more likely it is that they will add it soon which already leads me to the next point and this is support the tangent as well as the cyfrox support are both amazing no matter when i write tangent no matter when i write cyfrox they are both replying almost instantly or within a really few minutes and also the supports from both companies are really really knowledgeable and can answer every detail so here we will give the point for the support for both companies for sure another point to compare is the country of origin while tangent is based in switzerland the cyfrog wallet is based and manufactured in india when it comes to the app tangent is only having a smartphone app because we are working here with the nfc technology on our smartphone and also, as Tangem stated, they are not planning to have a desktop app, but only the smartphone app will be there. Cyfrog, however, as of now, only have a desktop app, but they are working on the smartphone app as well. And as of recording this video, it should take around two to three months, as they say. 
When it comes to functionalities within the app itself, as of now, Tangem is having the lead here. But Cyprock is working hard on adding more and more features in their desktop app and later, of course, also in the smartphone app. And there you can even see an official roadmap in Trello. So you can check what they are currently working on. Both companies, however, they are really hardworking. And with both companies, you will see ongoing features being added and community requests being taken seriously and definitely being considered. One thing which I also like about the Tangem wallet is also about functionalities, but not especially for the Tangem wallet, but actually like overall company. So as you know, Tangem is also working on their Tangem crypto ring, something similar like mine. And this will help us to take our cryptos really everywhere. And we could then confirm transactions by just tapping our ring on the smartphone, which is super, super convenient for sure. So now let's dig a bit deeper in how Tangent versus Cypherock works and a little more about the security of both wallets. As said in the beginning, Tangent comes with three options to actually set up your cards. And the first option is to go without any seed phrase, which means that you only have your cards. You do not have any words to write down and you don't have a visible private key. All you have are the cards and in this cards your private key is stored but it can never be revealed even not by accident which is really secure for beginners especially if there are some fake and scam supports who are asking people to share the seed phrase in order to get help or whatever so if you're a total beginner it can be a really good way to actually secure your funds and also as i have shown you in one of my previous videos there was a man going out on the street and just got into some random traffic control. And the police actually had a dash cam on the uniform. And while they have been checking all the documents, they also found the seed phrase from that person. And it was stored on the dash cam. And these dash cam recordings somehow landed up in the internet. And all the funds have been lost before the actual person, the owner, knew about it and when he figured it out all the assets have been already lost but if you prefer tangent can also be used as any other crypto wallet you can migrate an existing wallet to the tangent wallet or you can generate and write down your own seed phrase it's totally up to you cyfrog however you can definitely see your seed phrase as well and easily restore your seed phrase in case you lost your vault an important security measure here is also that you can not duplicate or back up your tangent cards at any time after the initial setup. So only during the initial setup, you will be able to actually duplicate your seed phrase or your private keys using the cards, but not at a later stage. So if you buy your tangent card, please decide wisely if you go with the three or the two cards set. If you're using the no seed phrase option, then I would definitely recommend you to get the three card sets. However, if you're going with the seed phrase option, then two cards are enough because you still have your seed phrase to restore your wallet at any time. But if you are going with the no seed phrase option, you should go with the three card sets because all you have are those three cards. If you lose all three cards, you won't be able to restore your funds. So as soon as you have only one card left and maybe two cards are lost, you should definitely get a new Tangem wallet or any other hardware wallet and transfer your funds from the existing card to somewhere else. But I also honestly have to tell you, if you are most likely to lose two or even three cards of your hardware wallet, I'm not sure if you should actually have a self-custodial hardware wallet. So the same way you should take care of those cards are the same way you should take care of your seed phrase. But even if you lose one card, don't worry. As long as you still have at least one card and your pin or your fingerprint, everything is good. And even the thief won't be able to do anything if he's just having one card. So in order to access your fund, even without the seed phrase option, you need at least 
two cards or you need one card and the pin in order to set up and restore everything. The Cypherock wallet, however, works completely different. As well as Cypherock, you can see your seed phrase and you can also back up your seed phrase anytime you want to or restore your wallet in case you lost the X1 volt. However, a highly important security measure here is that Cypherock X1 is never ever storing our complete private key at a single location. So Tangem is actually storing the entire private key here on the cards and on all the backup cards. Cyfrog, however, is using the Shamir secret sharing and this is really secure to distribute private information such as, of course, our private key. So each of those four X1 cards is just holding one out of five Shamir secret shares and the fifth share is on the X1 vault. Hence, unlike other wallets who have cards as their setup, such as the Grid Plus Lattice One, or cards that use, or wallets like Tangem, who actually use the card as a transaction signing tool itself, Cypherock and Key Labs, which was the security auditing firm of Cypherock, say, that by using uh, these Shamir secrets, they are eliminating every single point of failure. And also here with Cypherock, even if you lose a card or even somehow break the security of a card, they would at least need one more card or the vault itself. And only after then they can compromise somehow the security to actually access your fund. So this is really, really not much likely. Another point, while I also think Cypherock is another option, has something to do again, that Tangem is not having a screen and Tangem is not having a separate device to actually confirm transactions. But also when we enter our PIN in our smartphone in order to access the app in Tangem, we can never be 100% sure that our smartphone has not been hacked yet. Another vulnerability that most card-sized crypto wallets are missing is a device authorization. Since usually those wallets come without an additional device, so we are usually using our smartphone for entering our PIN. And if our smartphone was hacked or has some malicious software on it, our PIN could be recorded and next time be used to do some transaction which we didn't actually do agree with by just having a simple tab with a card on our phone. Cyfrog, however, solves this by having a manual confirmation by the user on the device through the joystick and also the pin on the X1 Volt is actually entered offline and not on our smartphone or PC. So, hands in essence, actually the Tangent Wallet is having a 2FA by using the card and our fingerprint or the PIN. However, if we do have a malicious smartphone, our transactions would become a 1FA by just using our card. Whereas with the Cypherock X1, we do have a 3FA as we do need the wallet, the card and also the PIN itself. So which wallet do you think is the better option for you and why? Which one do you find better for yourself or more secure? Let's summarize quickly what are the pros of the Tangem and the Cyprock wallet. If you are on a budget, then Tangem would be the one you should go for. You can get it for below than $50 while the Cyprock wallet costs around $130 USD even with the dip. Those prices already include the discounts which you get by using the links down in the description. However, I do not think that the price should be the main point why you are choosing a wallet. Because if you are losing some assets for some security reasons, then it will cost you much more rather than buying a secure hardware wallet. So some pros for the Tangem wallet are that there are no hacks since 2017 since they are on the market and they have already delivered more than 1 million hardware wallets with really no single hack. You can choose if you want to go without a seed phrase or with, with a built seed phrase. 
The coin support on the Tangem is better, however, it's not bad on Cypher at all. But Tangem is definitely having more coins and more features as of now in their app. Also, Tangem is a really awesome Swiss based company because they listen a lot to the community, but also the features such as the hardware wallet ring or Tangem Pay which will be the first self-custodial visa card available on the market. Also, Tangem is the most beginner-friendly wallet, which I know is available, but still being pretty secure. And also, if you are just looking for a really convenient, easy to use and quick wallet, then Tangem is definitely one to go. Also, because you don't need any electricity, you don't have to charge your wallet or whatever. There's no battery inside, you just need your smartphone and then the wallets which are also IP68 rated and can also withstand extreme heat and cold. As well as x-rays, magnetic pulses and much much more. Cyfrog on the other hand does cost a little more. It also has less coin support or token support. But the team is working on it and they have a really good and long roadmap from features they want to work on. As of now, Cypherrock is only having a desktop app, no smartphone app, but the smartphone app should come in around two months. Compared to the Tangem, which does not need any electricity, wire and charging, the Cypherrock wallet needs to be charged because it does not only come with the four cards, but also with the X1 volt. So the cards don't need to be charged, same as Tangem, but the vault itself needs to be charged. But this vault comes also with much more security. As first of all, it does have a display and also the transaction confirmation doesn't work with a tap on our smartphone, but with a tap on an offline device, which is the Cyfrog X1 Volt. Also another reason why I think the Cyfrog wallet is more secure is that it comes with a dual chip in the X1 Volt and this dual chip architecture is designed for offline computation and verification and also it makes things even more secure with the Shamir secret sharing as it never stores our entire private key on a single location but it's distributing shares of our private key on five different devices and this five different locations if you store your private keys and this your cards of course securely on different locations. And this makes our crypto wallet or the private keys decentralized and gives us a 10x more security as Cyfrog is stating on their website. And with the cards actually you will not need to back up your seed phrase or to write down those seed phrase words if you don't want to because you still have your cards. But if you prefer, you can still write down your seed phrase with this Cyfrog wallet. So, so with Cyfrog, you don't have an option to go fully seed phrase list. This only option which you have with a tangent wallet. So there's definitely a reason why the auditing from Key Labs is stating that the Cypherrock wallet is the most secure crypto hardware wallet they have ever tested. Please let me know in the comments what your preferred crypto wallet is. And if you want to dig deeper into the Cypherrock or the Tangent wallet, check out my other videos.